beautiful friends. Welcome back to 365 Days of Love and Miracles with A Course in Miracles. My name is Arlene Garris, and I am so glad that you are here. Please remember to listen right until the very end, because we have a special treat for you. And if you enjoyed today's video, please click like and subscribe down below, because this helps others to find us on YouTube. Today's lesson is lesson number 219. This is our 19th lesson in Review 6 under the theme of I am not a body, I am free, for I am still as God created me. This is a review of Lesson 199, which is the original lesson, I am not a body, I am free. Let's read today's lesson. I am God's Son. Be still my mind and think a moment upon this and then return to earth without confusion as to what my Father loves forever as his Son. I am not a body, I am free, for I am still as God created me. Let's talk about it. Do you have any difficulty accepting yourself as being God's beautiful beloved child? We are all God's sons, we are all God's daughters. Be still my mind and think a moment upon this. Are you able to still your mind? Just get quiet and ponder this idea. I am not a body. I am not a body. I am not a body. I am free. I am free to soar. I am not held back by the things of this world. My mind is part of God's. I am very holy. This is why meditation is so important. We need to be still and allow ourselves to access all the peace, the glory, and the wisdom of God's mind. All of this is available to us if we just stop the busyness of this world. And when we finish our meditation, we go about our day we are meant to be God's miracle workers out there in the world where we are needed. Part of our morning prayer is, Dear God, where would you have me go? What would you have me do? What would you have me say and to whom? Use me for your work here on this earth. There is no confusion that God loves you. God loves me. We are his beloved children. Let's take a quick look back at Lesson 199. Freedom must be impossible as long as you perceive a body as yourself. We cannot soar free. We cannot rise above the clouds, all the worries and problems of this earth, if we see ourselves as a body. Further down it says, The mind that serves the Holy Spirit is unlimited forever, in all ways, beyond the laws of time and space unbound by any preconceptions and with strength and power to do whatever it is asked. We have unlimited power. It is only for us to access it. Let go of the heaviness of these bodies and let ourselves feel the lightness of our spirit. Let our minds serve God and accept ourselves as beautiful, delightful spirits. Further down it says, it is essential for your progress in this course that you accept today's idea and hold it very dear. Are you able to fully accept this idea? After 19 review lessons, what is holding you back? You may want to journal on it. If we really want to make progress in this course, then we want to accept this idea. We are not bodies. We are spirit. Further down it says, cherish today's idea. It's reinforcing that we want to embrace this idea. We want to cherish it because this is where the answers lie to all of the problems and worries that hold us to this earth that keep us feeling stuck in these bodies. If you would like to close your eyes, I'll read the last paragraph to you. It's just so beautiful. You are God's son. In immortality, you live forever. Would you not return your mind to this? Then practice well the thought the Holy Spirit gives for you today. Your brothers 
stand released with you in it. The world is blessed along with you. God's Son will weep no more, and heaven offers thanks for the increase of joy your practice brings even it. And God himself extends his love and happiness each time you say, I am not a body, I am free. I hear the voice that God has given me, and it is only this my mind obeys. Over and over again, we are told that we are God's beloved children. We are immortal. We have been here since the beginning of time, and we will be here throughout all of eternity. The more we think about this, the more that we say today's idea over and over in our minds, the more this becomes cemented within us. We're letting go of our old way of thinking. We're changing the habits of the mind. We're breaking those synapses in our brain. And we are more and more accepting that we are true spirit. We are one with God and all of creation. We are not bodies. We are free. We can soar above the clouds of darkness, despair, worry, and bitterness. Even better, every time that we practice these lessons, heaven offers thanks for the increase of joy that our practice brings it. That fills me up with so much happiness. I hope it does for you too. Let's take a look back at Review 6. Paragraph 5. We will attempt to get beyond all words and special forms of practicing for this review, where we attempt this time to reach a quickened pace along a shorter path to the serenity and peace of God. We merely close our eyes and then forget all we thought we knew and understood, for thus is freedom given us from all we did not know and failed to understand. More and more we are encouraged to sit in silence, to practice meditation, this is how we access the mind of God, not in the noise and busyness of the world, not in the chatter of our minds. It is in the silence. This is how God speaks to us, in silence. For today's practice, we want to practice the idea as often as possible, in addition to our regular practice periods, first thing in the morning, last thing at night, as well as on the hour. We want to start and end the session with the central idea, I am not a body, I am free, for I am still as God created me. And then we want to let go of everything that clutters our mind and just sit in silence. If the mind chatter won't shut up, that's okay. We might have a very short, brief moment of time in which our mind is actually still. But just, just like training for a marathon, or learning to play the piano or learning a language, the more we practice, the better we get at it. I encourage you to continue this way of doing the practices for the rest of the lessons. We want to remember this mantra. We only have one more day to review the idea. I am not a body. I am free, for I am still as God created me. Because we have done it so many times by now, I'm sure you have it memorized. So this is a great one to pull out of our pocket any time that we are worried, stressed, or upset. Thanks so much for listening right until the end, my friends. If you enjoyed today's video, please share the love. Tell others about these videos. Encourage them to start at Lesson 1 and only do one lesson a day. Are you ready for our special treat? still as God created me. Have a glorious day, my friends. I love you.